Well, it, there's a lot to be said about experience and being in it. He's been in the fire a lot. So I think there's more than anything for all of us, the ability to handle failure as much as success. So when you're around a guy that's been as many fires as he has, he's been able to learn that balance. So I think with that comes an ultimate respect. Now he's built trust throughout the summer. I think that's the difference for him. He's built respect by being here. Trust is earned. He's earned that right. And we've also got a great locker room around him that it's embraced. Uh, you know Michael Mayer, obviously, but you have a lot of guys in that position group that have snaps for Notre Dame in live action. What is the, the, the tone of that room now without Mayer? Well, you could – I never want to be a coach or a guy that would say, like, we want people's absence to be felt. That means that they've made their presence felt. So do we miss Mike? Heck, yeah, I miss Mike. I miss Mike as a competitor and what he brought to the table and the bar he set for the tight end room on our football team. Um, so we miss him. And, man, I know he's going to do big things. On the other side of these things, we got professionals behind him that have learned the way that have just went to work. Like any time I've told the guys, the offense, everybody, any time we get lost and thinking about anything else, playing time, wins, losses, yards, points, just block it out, go back to work. And I think that the tight end room is responsible for going to work and earning the right to fill that void. And they'll do that. They're a mature group that expects to. How, how is this offense, you know, able to explode this upcoming season? Yeah, I think with anything, and, and again, not to be cliche, like all those things exist. We have great players. We believe in them and all those things. Day in and day out, we have to put in the work to earn the right to do that. Then the results will take care of themselves. Like I, we will say over and over, you guys will think I'm just saying it, it's facts. The truth lies in the work. The results will take care of itself. If we live that way, points per game, third down percentage, reds, all the big things that we want to think about, they'll take care of themselves as long as we're lost in the details of our work. How has your relationship with Joe Rudolph kind of grown over the last couple of months? Well, it's grown with each and everybody on the offensive staff, even with Stuck and D, because the roles are different, right? You're with your peers, and then you're, we, we thrust into this coordinating role. And so that relationship remains and builds the same because I have the ultimate respect for them. And, and your question to Joe Rudolph, like his, his resume speaks for itself, as our entire staff. So, again, all you do in guys that have coached high-level football, been highly successful, and are great men that work the way he works and the rest of us work, it's easy to respect. So it's just grown by just spending time. He's great in the run game, great in his protection details. The guys love him and he works. Easy to build a relationship like that.